Hello everyone, my name is Rishabh Mishra and I welcome you all to the next lecture of our video series. Now in this video, I will be providing you with some text on the board. Okay, and then we will be learning how to pronounce, how to have, how to understand a particular paragraph given in German language. Okay, don't worry. Uh, I think that okay at this point in time you are not aware of too much vocabulary you are not aware of too much uh, grammatical thing some some verbs are also there that you don't you might not know but believe me I'll be writing some simple text some simple paragraph from a particular book that I'll be uh, sharing it with you which book is this in this particular lecture we'll be discussing about Uber's right okay. We are, uh, we are discussing about Arbeitszeit. Uber Arbeitszeit expression means to work uh, to speak about time, working time, and about your profession. What is this? We will be discussing it. I will be writing some text on the board and then we are good to go. Okay? So have a look. So I have written some text over here. These are some German texts. What is this about? What are they? We'll be learning at this thing. So here the thing is, I have written some German text, and this is about Uber Beruf Arbeitszeitenspression to discuss about profession and work time. So what we'll be doing here is we'll be trying to understand that how to read a German text. This are, these are some four paragraphs, how to read and how to understand the vocabulary of particular thing, how the sentences are framed. This all thing we will be learning today. Have a look. So first one is, Ish bin, okay, there are four people. There are four people, they are all talking about themselves. There are four people, they are all talking about themselves. They are communicating to other person that okay, I am this from profession, I work from this time to this time and I have we like this much people work in our company, this much people are not working in our company, I am having this day as a holiday, this day as a working day, I am working th these much hours in a day, this much hours in a week. So in that sense, uh, people are communicating their profession. So here, okay, first uh, one more thing, one important thing I want to tell you. That these texts uh, I have taken from this book. Uh, these texts I have taken from this book. This is Netzwerk A1 Deutsch als Fremdsprache course book. Deutsch als Fremdsprache means German is a foreign language and it is a, it is a course book for uh, German A1. So, this is a very helpful book. If you want to buy, I will uh, ping the link in the description. You can go and have a look. Okay. So, I have taken this text from this book. Now, what is there in this text? First one. Ich bin Ärztin und arbeite ich in einer Klinik. Now, what you are getting from this thing? Ich bin Ärztin. In previous lecture, I have told you the meaning of Aids, Arts and Ärztin. <coughs> So here, this thing is a profession and und and arbeiter. I have written in uh, the verb arbeiten and its verb conjugation in previous lecture. Arbeiter ish. This means I work. Okay. Arbeiter ish in einer Klinik. Einer is a and Klinik is clinic. Now you can see, you can just translate it by your own. Ich bin Ärztin, I am a doctor, Ärztin means female doctor, I am a female doctor und Arbeiter ich in einer Klinik, und means and, I work in a clinic, I am a lady doctor and I work in a clinic, ich bin Ärztin und Arbeiter ich in einer Klinik, done till here, next, here, here, Arbeiten, this much. What is the number? I have told you in uh, numbers class. I have explained that how this number is being, uh, is <coughs> how this number is, is called in German language. It is 920. 920. So here, 
hier arbeiten 920 Ärzte und wir haben Platz für 1250 Patienten. Again, hier arbeiten 920 Ärzte und wir haben Platz für 1250 Patienten. Hier means here. Arbeiten. Work. Arbeiten. Not Arbeiter or Arbeitet or Arbeites. Arbeiten is there. This much is doctor. This word is a plural for doctor. Arts is doctor. Aids is uh, too many doctors. Like it's a plural form of the doctor. So here work this number of doctors and we have place plots is place pure for this much patient in this much patients what does this mean here are by then this this much it's the here okay here okay 920 doctors work here and we have place for 1250 patients I am doctor, I am a lady doctor and I work in a clinic. Here 920 doctors are working and we are have we have a place, we have place for 1250 patients. Next, ish arbeiter, this much, this is fear sesh, stunden pro woche of out nachts und am wochenende. Ish means I, arbeiter. Work, ish arbeiter, I have told you in previous class. Fear is 40 stunden hours. Stunden, it's not studenten. The people generally uh, get confused between this. So, stunden is hours. Studenten is students. Okay, stunden. Stunden, studenten. So, student is studenten. And Stunde is hours. Ich arbeite 40 Stunden pro Woche per week. Per week. Got my point? Next thing. Of out nachts. Often. Of this. Often. Out is also. Nox is nights und am Wochenende and on weekends. I work 40, 40 hours per week, often also at nights and also in week, also, also uh, on weekends. Now try to read this again, try to translate this. I am a lady doctor and I work in a clinic. I okay here work this much number of doctors and we have place for this much number of patients. I work 40 hours per week and also in nights and uh, also uh, on weekends. Now try to read this again in German language. Pause the video, try to read this on your own. I hope you've done that. Ich bin Ärztin und arbeite ich in einer Klinik. Hier arbeiten 920 Ärzte und wir haben Platz für 1250 Patienten. Ich arbeite 40 Stunden pro Woche auf auch nachts und am Wochenende. Dann. What she has told, she has told about herself that she is a lady doctor, she works this much uh, hours per week, this much people, this much doctors work in, uh, in that particular clinic and they have a place for this much patients and uh, and she works, she works 40 hours per week and sometimes in nights also she is uh, working and sometimes on weekends she is also working as she is a doctor. Now, second one, second one. Ich bin Studentin. Stunden. Studentin. 
Ich bin Studentin. I am a student. But in is there at the last. So she is a lady student. Okay. A girl. Ich bin Studentin. Ich bin von Montag bis Donnerstag an der Uni. So on their uni, this means at the university. If I have told you the meaning of this at the university, now I think you get the meaning of this complete sense, complete sentence. Ich bin Studentin, I am student. Ich bin, I am von Montag bis Donnerstag. Montag is Monday, Donnerstag is Thursday. On their uni at the university from Monday till okay from Monday to uh, this one Thursday she is she she studies at university ish lerna am Freitag und am Sonntag am Samstag habe ish frei she is there in university from Monday to from Monday to Thursday, she is in university. And ish lerna. Lerna, this is the word for learning. This is the word for learning. And verb is lernen. The complete verb is lernen. It is conjugated according to this verb, this subject, ish. So ish lerna am Freitag. She learns. She is there in the university from Monday to Thursday. And she studies by herself uh, on Friday and on Sunday. Am Samstag habe ich frei. On Saturday, she has free time. Habe ich frei. Habe ich frei. I have free time. Okay. On Saturday, she is having free time. Ich studiere. Again, this is the word studieren. This means to study. So, this is studieren. Studieren. This means to study. And learning means to learn. Okay. Ich studiere Architektur in Köln. She studies architecture in Köln. Here gibt es this much number of architecture studenten. Here gibt es 670 architecture studenten. What does this mean? Here gibt es. So this is here. And gibt es means there are. Or there is, depending upon the sentence. Gibt es. There is. Here there is. Okay, here there are six, uh, 670 architecture students. So feel a lot. This means a lot. Zufil. This is an expression to say a lot. Okay. Now. Ich bin Studentin. Ich bin von Montag bis Donnerstag an der Uni. Ich lerne am Freitag und am Sonntag. Am Samstag habe ich frei. Ich studiere Architektur in Köln. Hier gibt es 670 Architektur Studenten. This means I am a student and I work. I, I am in university, okay, I am at the university from Monday to uh, Thursday and I learn on Friday and on Sunday, on S Saturday I have free time, I study architecture in Kyol and here there are 670 architecture students, a lot, Zufil is expression to say a lot. Next one, okay, so I thought you have read this, now. Let us read it again together. Ich bin Techniker. CH. Sometimes it has a sound of K, sometimes it has a sound of SH. When we pronounce it as K, when we pronounce it as SH, we will be learning in upcoming classes. Okay, believe me, again I am saying we will be learning. So I want to give you a brief idea about some verbs, some. Uh, some pronunciations and then I will I want to categorize each and every one of them wait for that particular lecture till now of uh, till then see ich bin techniker ich bin techniker by vw 
So we do not say it as beta 2, we say it as foul way. This means Volkswagen. The company, the name of the company is Volkswagen. In German, uh, in Germany, it is called as Fau Way. If you call uh, Volkswagen, so they, they can understand, okay. But in Germany, you call it as Fau Way. Here, the use of alphabets is there. Fau and V. And, and similarly, in India also, we say Volkswagen. The word is starting with V, but we pronounce it as Volkswagen. That I have told you in previous class, one of the previous class. So, this is Volkswagen. Wir produzieren, wir produzieren Autos. We are producing autos. Okay. Ich bin Techniker bei VW. Means I am technician in this particular company. The meaning of this is not in. Whenever we use a name of company, I work in this particular company. We use by just before the name of the company. If I say I work in BMW, so I can say Ish bin Techniker by BMW. Name of the company. Before that, add by, and you are good to go. See here. Ish bin Techniker by. It is a general. Uh, you can say it's a rule. Just before the name of the company, you have to use by. If you work in that particular company. So before taking the name of the company, you will say by. I work. Okay, ich bin Techniker by this company. Okay, next thing. So I am technician. This means technician by Fauve. So I am technician in this particular company. I work as a technician in this particular company. We are producer in autos. Autos are cars in German. Autos. This means car. Cars. And produce here and you are getting this thing producing. We are means we are producing autos, we are producing cars. Volkswagen producing cars. In Wolfsburg, in Wolfsburg, Arbeiten, Fünfzig Tausend Menschen. In Wolfsburg, there are 50,000 people. Mention people, men's okay, mention is people. So 50,000 people work in Wolfsburg. Ish Arbeiter von Mittwoch bis Zontag. Ish Arbeiter von Mittwoch bis Zontag. From Wednesday till Sunday. I work from Wednesday till Sunday. Aber, aber ish. Zwei Tage frei, Montag und Dienstag. See, I work from Wednesday till Sunday, but I have zwei Tage, two days free. That is Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday is free and he works from Wednesday till Sunday. Ich bin Techniker bei VW. Let us read it together. Ich bin Techniker bei VW. Wir produzieren Autos in Wolfsburg. Arbeiten 50,000 Menschen. Ich arbeite von Mittwoch bis Sonntag. Aber habe ich zwei Tage frei. Montag und Dienstag. Again. So these are three texts we have learned. This text I have written about myself. This text I have written about myself. Explaining what I do. Now, what you have to do is, one text, two text, three texts are there. This is I have written by myself, okay, about me and you. If you are a serious German learner and if you want to practice this, you can write a complete paragraph about yourself. For as of now, I know that you don't know much of vocabulary, but Taking help of uh, these vocabularies, you can frame your own sentences and you can write it down. So, if you are a serious German learner, I request you to write about yourself what you do. If you are in a job, so you can write that. If you are a student, you can write this thing. Write in the comment section the complete text. And I will be, uh, I'll be figuring out that if you are, if you are, have written correctly or not. Okay. 
I'll personally figure it out that if you have written correct or if there is any explanation or if there is any correction, I'll make, make it clear for you. Okay, so this is a task if you are a serious German learner. Otherwise, that's everything. You can while watching this lecture, everything is good. Now see. Ich bin frei beruf lischer Deutsch Lehrer. This is my designation. What is my designation? Frei beruf lischer Deutsch Lehrer. So frei beruf lischer is freelance Deutsch means German Lehrer is teacher. Von Beruf. So what is my profession? I am a freelance German trainer. I am freelance German trainer. From profession. Ich arbeite von Zuhause. Ich arbeite von Zuhause. I work from home. This is a very good statement for saying that I work from home. I work from my home. Ich arbeite von Zuhause. Ich arbeite von Montag bis Freitag. I work from Monday till Friday. Am, Wochen, am Wochenende habe ich frei. I have free time on weekends. Ich arbeite 8 Stunden pro Tag. I work 8 hours per day. Pro Tag. Stunden again hours. Pro is per and tab. See, ich bin frei beruflicher Deutschlehrer. Von Beruf, ich arbeite von Zuhause. Ich arbeite von Montag bis Freitag. Am Wochenende habe ich frei. Ich arbeite acht Stunden pro Tag. So, these are some German texts. If you have that, that particular book that I have told you just now, you can have a look to it. If you don't have, if you want this, so you can take a screenshot of it or you can write as whatever you want. I am moving away from the page and you can have a look. Okay. Finally, in this video, we have learned how to, how to read the text. Okay. How to read the text and have a correct pronunciation of these uh, words. And some, some vocabulary also we have learned in this. Now, what is next? So next is, whatever we will be learning in upcoming classes, okay, I will be providing you with some exercises like this. To read on your own, to understand on your own and if you have any doubt, you can just comment down below and have a look. So we'll be doing this in upcoming classes. So if you like this video, click on like button, share among your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.